So it's been a while since I've done the video about any exam updates, any official stuff that's been released, because ultimately, I have no idea what's going on, neither do your teachers, and I suspect the exam boards are still a bit uncertain about exactly what's happening. Now, this is a shame, because ultimately, if I do videos about exams, loads of you watch them. Oh yeah, by the way, if you haven't really done so, you can find lots of short revision videos on my new TikTok channel, which is Physics Online. You can also find them on Instagram, and these are gonna be great if you're revising GCSE and A-level topics over the next few weeks. Anyway, exams, what's happening? Well, basically, because there's no official exams, your teachers are deciding how to do the assessments in school over the next few months. I suspect most of these will finish by the start of June, so there's enough time for your teachers to mark everything, to check their marking, to make sure that uh, they've got some good grades for you across the school. So it's going to be quite soon when any assessments are set. Now, at the moment, um, there's no clear guidance about what to use for the questions. Now, if you're... Um, I suppose if you're willing to spend a bit of time searching, I think you can find the 2019 and 2020 exam papers and questions on different parts of the internet. Now they shouldn't be there, the exam boards have not published them and made them officially released yet, but I know that a lot of those questions tend to seep out. Now that's normally what your teachers would use to actually give you in class so that you can have a set of questions that nobody in the class has seen before. Now it might be a bit unfair because some people might see those exam questions and some people might not. So there's going to be a load of information published by the exam boards that your teachers can use for any assessments. Now the weird thing is, the exam boards are going to be publishing information, it's all going to be freely available, it's going to be visible to everybody, and it includes the questions and the mark schemes. Now, I don't know when that's going to happen, your teachers don't know when it's going to happen, and I think it might be perhaps the end of March, maybe the start of April over the Easter holidays which is quite late if that's going to be used by your teachers to set your exams. I think the reason they're publishing everything is because so much material has been made visible that it's probably unfair for some students. So the fairest way to do that is, and I suspect this is what's going to happen, is that the exam boards publish the 2019 and the 2020 exam papers onto their website. Obviously, as soon as that happens, I'll update my website as well so they're easy to find. And I, I, but I think that's what's going to happen. So how can you prepare? Well, really, it depends on what your school is doing and the advice that your teachers are giving you. Your teachers know the format of the exam they're going to be setting. They know the topics that are going to be covered. And so basically, listen to your teachers. And when they say the topics, that's when you can then go through some past papers and find similar questions to practice. Now, ultimately, the more past papers you do, the more questions you do, the better you're going to get at answering physics questions, which is ultimately what's going to give you the high grades that you need. So I would... First of all, be doing any of the papers that you can find for your current exam board and your current specification. Um, that might include the 2019 and 2020 papers, which are released quite soon. I'd also be doing the old specification past papers for your current exam board. And also, have a look at other exam board questions as well. You might have seen in the live streams, I've been using questions from OCR, from WJC, from SIA, um, not AQA because they don't like the copyright issues. But basically, all of this is just good physics, and a lot of the questions are going to be the same kind of questions across exam boards, and that's why I've used those for the live streams. They can be useful for anybody. Ultimately, the more past papers you do, the more questions you see, the easier it's going to be for you to answer anything in any assessments. Now, who knows what's going to happen. As soon as I hear anything official from the Department for Education, or Ofqual, or even the exam boards, I'll make some videos to... to I bet, I suppose, analyse what they've released and hopefully help you prepare for any assessments that you might have coming up over the next couple of months. So yeah, until I hear anything official, it's just a case of waiting and see and I guess just do as much as you can, speak to your teachers because they're the ones who ultimately are going to be giving you the assessment, they're going to be marking it uh, and they're going to be the best person to go to to actually ask for any help. So yeah, with that in mind, uh, nothing official to announce, it's just me speculating. But I hope all of you are doing okay, and don't forget that you can subscribe to stay updated with anything coming out over the next few months to help you prepare thoroughly for any exams coming up. Thank you.